your tax dollars pay government employees, protects the community, even cleans up the streets. But a two news investigation found thousands of those dollars being paid out every year in Dayton because of accidents caused by city employees. Natalie Tendall is asking why that is and what can be done to keep those numbers down. Over the past three years, the city of Dayton has paid out more than $200,000 for accidents caused by employees. And I found there's one department that has more accidents than any other. And one woman witnessed that firsthand. And I look over and he's unconscious, not breathing. And then about a minute and a half goes by and then blood starts coming out of his mouth. And then he wakes up after the paramedics got there. It happened in 2011, but Terry Lockhart remembers the accident that seriously injured her and her fiance like it was yesterday. We got three impacts. The trash truck hit us, and as it knocked us into the oncoming lane, the kinder care hit us, spun us around, and jammed the passenger side up under the trash truck. That trash truck belongs to the city of Dayton, and the accident was the driver's fault. The employee got a ticket for not paying attention. Did the city say anything to you? They didn't even contact us. Terry and her fiance James sued the city of Dayton for personal injuries. According to records two news investigates obtained, they were paid out $100,000. We expect to be safe on the streets that we pay them to take care of. We asked the city what policies are in place once an accident occurs. They told us an employee is required to report it to their supervisor. Then an investigation follows. If it's the employee's fault, they get an oral reprimand or disciplined. The law department handles any claims. And since the city of Dayton is self-insured, that $200,000 they've paid out in the past three years for claims came from your tax dollars. It took months of asking before Tunis Investigates was able to obtain documents from the city showing those payouts. Once we did, we went through more than 70 records for the past three years. And I noticed a trend. According to the data, the city is three times more likely to pay for accidents of employees who work for one particular department. Public Works has more claims than any other department. Mm -hmm. Right. Why would you say that is? Depending, I would assume most of it's from my winter season, uh, especially this last winter. Uh, you know, the more that we're on the road, the more opportunity we're going to have to be in accidents. Public Works Director Fred Stovall tells me his department has about 240 people behind the wheel of city vehicles, including trash trucks, snow plows, and maintenance trucks. He admits the likelihood of an accident is very possible, especially in the winter, with how many employees he has on the roads. But he says they take every precaution to keep that number down. He says he knows what's at stake. City's liability. Uh, you know, we don't want to uh, waste the taxpayer dollars by uh, expending those dollars to repair vehicles that we really shouldn't be damaging. Just months ago, the city made a change that helped close a loophole that could have more easily allowed dangerous drivers to operate city vehicles. Before, Stovall said he would do visual checks to see if the driver had a valid license and relied on the honesty of that employee. Now they have a new web-based service that gives alerts if an employee's driver's license status has changed. Terry still says careless accidents shouldn't happen in city vehicles. If you can't expect to be safe on the street, you pay them take care of what can you do. And Stovall admits most of those crashes don't have to happen. But most of the time, like it's a good portion of accidents, um, there are preventable, I would say that. Um, so again, it's just remind our employees to pay attention, be cautious, and be aware of the other drivers. Stovall says he makes sure his employees know their number one priority is safety, but he says they do get a lot of people who run into their vehicles as well. If you would like to see what department has paid out money for accidents in the past three years, go to our website at WDTN.com and look for this story. Natalie Tendall, 2 News Investigates.